Hey everyone, and welcome to another Game Explained discussion. I'm your host, Derek Bittner, and I'm joined today by Some Call Me Johnny, The Great Clement, and Gareth FTA Spriggs of Find the Computer Room to discuss the new release date trailer for Sonic Mania. So let's get this cluster going. Alright guys, so decided to go full on chaos, get some of the, th the three biggest uh, Sonic nerds I know. Sorry Tails Channel, I'll get you in here another time, but three's enough. <laughs> Too many Sonic fans. Uh, uh, get wrecked! <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about big today, Matt. Don't care. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you, know, you, know, you just you get, you get you get an elevator themed after Russ, and it has myself, Clement, Gareth, and the next button is not tails. It just goes straight to Game Explain. <laughs> 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 so you're, you're you're saying you're saying Matt is the Sonic Four, Four. Of, of this group, <laughs> <laughs> or the Sonic CD. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, but yeah, uh, I'm just going to hop right into it. What did you guys think of this trailer? Because, I mean, I think we all have the same opinion. But, Johnny, you start us off. What did you think? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I've, uh, uh, I, I, uh, I'm watching it right now, actually, as we're talking to the video again. And it's like, hmm. I, I, Gareth, what do you think? <laughs> because I can't think of we, it. We need to get Johnny a cigarette first. Is, okay. All I'll say is, that's... That's some pretty animation. Yeah, oh, it really is. Boy, I'm that looks. I'm wondering, like, I'm hoping that God, like, as much as I, I love the animation of this, I'm wondering, this is not just for a trailer, right? I mean, are we gonna have like brief animated cutscenes for Sonic Mania, like between zones, or maybe for like pivotal story scenes or something? Because I would, oh my God, like I would drool all over that repeatedly for the possibility of that. Agreed. Animation, animation, like in this regard, is it's uh, it's time consuming and it's not exactly cheap. I I yeah. would be surprised if a uh, you know because I, I think it's no shock to assume that Mania is going to be on the lower end of budgets for you know the Sonic games to come out in the last few years. I would be surprised for them to put money into animation like this and not include it in the game. That being said, they did the exact same thing for Generations. But I had a bunch of really nice looking CG s shots in trailers that appear nor in the game. So I don't, I don't trust Sega to make me happy. So Johnny, this is probably the extent of the animation we'll ever get <laughs> from classic Sonic it, ever again. Were, But if it was something like, just like Sonic CD where you have an intro animation, then you have an ending animation, that'd be just fine for me, perfectly mm. honest. Yeah, here. that's all I want, really. I just want like this trailer animation to just be a boot-up cutscene. Just re-edit it with different music and keep it in and don't let it be lost to like a trivia note that like, oh, there was a trailer that was really cool once, and put it in the game. This has to be part of the game, you know. Agreed. But 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 the, but the intro, the intro in the game has to keep the this August just to confuse people. <laughs> <laughs> Which August? Which August? <laughs> because 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 Mania is going to be a uh, download only game. Sega are going to lock it. You can only ever play it in the month of August. Just to talk with people. <laughs> One day only. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be yeah. Sonic. That'd be a hell of a day. Because <laughs> I agree with you. As soon as I saw that animation pop up and just... It's so gorgeously... Just in the movement, the character designs, it's just... This is, like, the way Sonic should look, in my opinion. This is at least classic Sonic. It is just so fluid and really gets you almost in the feels because... You know, this is like your childhood popping out, and I, you know, I grew up with Sonic, seeing him animated like this again, seeing that personality of him sort of like going into the waiting animation, it was so good. I was like, what my, possibly, you know, I, I've always said my favorite, like, thing of Sonic the Hedgehog ever is the intro to CD. I think that just, that is just encapsulates Sonic, his personality, how he, how he should move in, in, you know, uh, physical form so well. The moment in the trailer where he kind of taps his foot and then kind of like does a 360 and runs off. Mm -hmm. I have not been so happy. And I've not even when my son was born have I been that happy. I've seen that, that two second animation of Sonic turning around and running. You know, your it son just has looked, big shoes to fill. It just looks so. Also, I want to say, based on that, uh, you know, um, uh, Derek said how good this looks is because it, this was designed and animated by Tyson Hess who I'm sure most people would probably, most Sonic fans would recognize for his fantastic work on the, um, unfortunately, never to be completed Sonic Mega Drive. Oh, so it's uh, the same series. guy? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, Tyson. I mean, even okay. even in the trailer, even in the trailer they linked to it. I mean, his, it's it's slightly tweaked somewhat from um, Mega Drive, I, I feel. Like, I think if you put pictures of like a Mega Drive panel and Sonic's design from 
the trailer. It's slightly different, but it's clear. I mean, Tyson's clearly trying to. He's clearly going for that like CD intro slash OVA style. And it just looks. I would love. I would love a Sonic cartoon to look like this. Oh, mm. wouldn't that be all? That'd be amazing. Yeah. Forget mm. games. Screw the franchise. Like burn this <laughs> game and franchise to the ground. <laughs> just give me a cartoon. Just give me a cartoon. <laughs> Looking like this. I freaking love that shot where he runs past the motobugs. They pop and out come the flickies. Sonic looks back and then he just jumps off the cliff and it like goes into f- slow motion. I was just like, ah, oh! like that was, made me so hyped. And I was just like, I gotta play this now. <laughs> if I'm not allowed to do that in the game, I want a refund. If I try and run past the motobug and it kills me, I'm like, what the hell, man? It looks amazing. That's false advertising. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's really amazing. Like I think that's the funny thing is everybody is so focused on the animation. But what do you guys think of the gameplay itself? I mean, the, we did get uh, a brand new stage in the form of Stardust Speedway. Uh, we got saw a little oh, yeah. bit more of uh, Mirage Saloon and a bunch of the others. Did that click with you as well, or is you just or are you guys at the all at the point where this looks good? I want to play it. But this animation. <laughs> yeah, I think the thing to focus on for for this video was it, just that the animation. Because I mean, let's let's face it, we've already seen these levels before in some form yeah. or other. Okay. We pretty much know what we're gonna get at this point. I mean, it's good to see them in action, but the animation is what we're all primarily focused on for good reason. Is because the zones we've seen, and uh, it's good to see Stardust be way back. I don't know. We were we we're talking about this by the scenes, but. Why is Sonic back in Little Planet for like a <laughs> like a little stint? I mean, are we like retconning the events of Sonic Four Episode Two? Is this really like the the, the ultimate? We're redeeming F2? the ending of Sonic yeah. Four Episode Two. <laughs> Just launch out of a cannon. To to quote a line from Ken Balo, this will be Sonic the Hedgehog Four as you truly imagined. It. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have to get that Death Egg Mark Two shell off the planet. Yeah. Just got pride. We never fixed that. <laughs> no, they never did. But yeah, it's it's. I I find it really like damning for Sonic Four in general, like how much they just how much of a non thing this trailer makes that uh, uh, episode to be because you know everyone's pointing out the elevator, how uh, it goes straight from Three and Knuckles to Mania. <laughs> you know there is no four, there's no numerical four on that elevator button. It's like. I, I guess that's just it. it. It's no longer a thing now. We want you to ignore Sonic Four. Or, or to, to play devil's advocate, if you want to put your hat on and, and be a, a big continuity nerd, you could just argue in in the timeline of Sonic the Hedgehog, which makes no sense, and people should stop trying to ha- make it make sense, you could argue <laughs> this just takes place before 4. If you, if you so chose, but it still doesn't account for the fact that there's no there's no button for CD, which I'm all for, screw that game. Like, let's ignore it. Let's ignore it. So well, it doesn't happen. make any sense. I mean, what 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 floor is called CD? Where does that lead to? It it revolves. If you press the CD button, you just go up and down and bounce around a lot with no logical sense, which is you time, perfectly you, you time to the, the level design. Like, you time, yes, you, you, yeah, you time literally travel. time travel. <laughs> CD go. stands for Cinnabon District. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, a Cinnabon. <laughs> <laughs> It is also interesting that Stardust Speedway is not in the present, it's in the past version of the stage, so they're they're using all the greenery to actually have, like, tentacle monsters that you have to dodge, which weren't in the original level, like, there was never tentacle monsters to watch out for. Uh, so they're doing something interesting with Stardust Speedway, I'm very curious what they're doing with the plant life in that level. But, I, uh, <laughs> my, uh gaps in Sonic uh, lore was fully shown in that damn analysis that I did. I was talking about you, about this with you guys before we started this discussion where I had no idea that I just for some reason I completely forgot that that's what Sonic uh, Stardust Speedway looked in the past in Sonic CD and then everybody was pointing out I was like y- you know this is all just returning right that's not, not really anything new like the only thing actually new is that uh, tentacle monster you talked about Clement and the uh, the vine that flips you from Sonic 3 and Knuckles and I'm like oh damn it that could have saved me so much oh, time no <laughs> yeah to go also, back on vacation. It, you know the director also would have saved you time if you knew you know what, what hyper knuckle was <laughs> hey at least i was i mentioned it <laughs> i don't know no no you, <laughs> did, you, you did not do your job internet game research man this, is, un- this re- is unforgivable <laughs> <laughs> i lose a finger there we go yeah. <laughs> okay, well, there goes game explains it's not an analysis over the yakuza series right, yeah, it's fine. lose a knuckle <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> that would be. One thing I didn't really note, like, uh, it's, it's a small little detail that I noticed in the trailer, though, is that Knuckles' uh, idle animation is not just his, you know, his little fisticuffs so he's getting ready to punch something. He also has his cackling uh, snicker from the uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. It's like, oh, that's, that's actually really cool. Like, I'm, I'm glad that they extended upon that because that's something I always wanted to have Knuckles do uh, when playing as him in, like, Sonic 3. It's like, you know, you always had that little, like... <sighs> Gotta keep it PG. I like. I also want. I want to curse so much. It's like no, no, no. It's, it's like, uh, but he, no, he Johnny, little... you're better than Chris. Don't swear. Okay, you're better that's, than Chris. That's fine. All right. <laughs> Happy thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's it's really cool. I, I, I really like how they implemented the the little cackle when he's just like standing there for a little bit. I, I love that. Mm -hmm. mm. That is one of the most memorable things about Knuckles, just because every damn level he showed up and did that laugh as he set off some kind of trap. <laughs> so. I appreciate do you think, that. Do, do, do you think putting that laugh in is just Taxman's way of further proving Dread, uh, Dread Fox wrong? In the sense that Knuckles does indeed chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time. He can do both. <laughs> it was the first thing he ever bloody did was chuckle, <laughs> Dread <Ducks. laughs> But, I, the, the, I mean, even though we saw uh, a bit of the levels before, uh, there are, I think the enemies stood out a little bit more this time around uh, than previous trailers, because we had that new roller that almost was chasing every uh, Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles through Mirage Saloon, and I, I kind of like that concept where it's just a normal enemy chasing you down that you have to avoid as you're going through the level, which could add a little extra, I don't know, dread not or panic i guess to a level and really keep you moving even though you might want to explore i would say more of an annoyance than anything because mm -hmm. from previous videos that i've seen the roller can't damage you while he's in ball form he just bounces off of you harmlessly he has to actually open up the compartment to attack you mm -hmm. um if it was like the regular roller from like spring yard zone that'd be a different thing because that oh, that guy gosh. could just damage you on contact and uh <laughs> if it was that enemy i'd agree but for this one i think just a general annoyance it's about like hey stop that Please, I just want to explore. <laughs> just let me go this way. <laughs> I. Uh, what do you guys think of the? Uh, we'll go and move on for the roller. What do you guys think of the uh, new? Uh, I guess crusher, like uh, the trash compactor mini boss. I think, I'm going to assume since it had that same sort of uh, core that the barrier Eggman fights had from Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I, for some reason, when I first saw it, I thought that Rystar was on the right. Because <laughs> they got, like, they got destroyed Motobugs, they got destroyed Caterkillers, they got a whole bunch of Eggman signs in there as well. But there's, like, one yellow face on the very right in the trash compactor, and I'm like, that sprite looks awfully Rystar-ish. <laughs> Rystar, no! It's just full of all those uh, dead Sega franchises. <laughs> the, arm of, the arm of knights. Oh god! Like that. Yeah. Vector Man's face. Vector Man's face. And it would, how appropriate he was a trash. He was a trash man. Exactly. So, Although yeah. it, it'd be funny if it was Rystar, because I'm pretty sure he wasn't a robot. So just the, it's just oh like the decapitated, oh eyeless, god. eyeless head. Is in there. Man, Max Man is taking no prisoners. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I like the concept of it. I, it's another example of how they're taking an idea from the old games and just sort of. Making it a little different by not having Eggman there, apparently trying to get up high enough to actually hit it. And I, I just, again, keeping things fresh and new. Well, I mean, something like that, it kind of um, it, it kind of seems like an extension of what uh, Sonic Team did. Because as you, as you noted in your um, anal cyst video, um, you know, it, it started in, in Wing Fortress where you attack. And then there's a nice little bit in Flying Battery where the, 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 there's no way to... Um, attack the laser it just keeps going further and further into a kind of like self-destruction away so to me this kind of just seems like uh tax because i guess uh, i'm sure tax man and stealth and everyone at pakoda games they sit down and think what would knacker have done what would the original team have done so this to me just feels like if they would have made a a uh, say a sonic 4 or 5 that featured a kind of flying battery-esque level or just another flying fortress this uh, possibly could just be something that they felt that um, would fit in with that theme. Right, because it's not as if they're just taking something that's already been established, say, like the Sonic Sea. Because, you know, w we've seen that they tried to extend upon um, the Sonic CD recreation, Sonic 1 and 2, when they added, like, the Knuckles and Tails only parts in Sonic 1. Mm -hmm. um, the scrapped... Uh, 
I forgot the name. Uh, they wanted to bring Desert Zone, I think, from Desert, Sonic da- Desert um, Dazzle Zone, which Desert it was, Dazzle, at right. the time, Sega was like, nothing new. Um, which which I, I can understand, because it, it, was, it was the first time trying something with, with a kind of... I think at that point, Tacman was just a fan. Yeah. Game maker. I don't think he had any any professional. Yeah. They had to build that trust. Yes, which which you know you, you get to Sonic Two, and then at that point, I'm sure you know because the the previous remasters sold so well, and everyone was happy with them. Then Sega let him um, do Hidden Palace, but I believe they they still um, rejected the concept of a boss rush mode. Yeah, uh, which the I, Age Gauntlet, I think it was. Yes, called. which I I think was hidden in the code of some of the earlier versions which some people found but then he was then was later removed from previous updates right if i'm not mistaken uh but the fact that they pretty much i mean from what it looks like complete creative range with mania i i I, it's just so exciting to think about what can they do with previous zones that we've known for years and how they're going to like i'm I'm expecting a lot of trollish moments Mm -hmm. (laughs) like with all the old zones like i I played this so many times i'm pretty sure there's a special ring there oh no now it's a bombless pit I was like, well, I'm hoping not to that extreme. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is Bobber's pits everywhere. Who made this game? Dips? <laughs> <laughs> and the sticker falls off and it's dips. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> again, we'll get going on that. I, I wouldn't be surprised if um, if uh, Taxman and, and team have been given a wealth of, like, uh, whatever, whatever design documents it still exists from back in the day because I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff that has never seen the public eye. So I'm sure sh- I'm sure they've been given examples. I'm sure just through a lot of them know through just through you know all the, all the um, stuff on, on like the Sonic Retro forum, not from the um, the wikis and things like that. Just all of the like old uh, old and unused concepts. So I'm sure they're trying to incorporate as many of those as possible. It would make sense. I mean, it's these guys. I mean, let's be honest. This is a game made by fans for fans, and so and they've as we've talked about, already proven their worth and how people have just responded to these uh, remakes and remasters that they've done in the past. And I, I do, like, I wish I could play, like, stand to play the Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 on mobile, but I hate mobile controls for 2D games. I'm, 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 I'm right yeah. there with you, man. Like, release those on a freaking console, mm-hmm. please. I Which I'm hoping snapped up Mania. Sonic CD so quickly when they had that remake, and I would do the same for Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 if they made those games available on an actual console, but... Hell, yeah. physical f- physical collection, you can do CD 1, 2, and Mania, because they'll never re-release Sonic 3 and Knuckles ever again, so we can just all forget that ever happening, but I would totally buy a disc mm-hmm. of do those I really games. want, like, a 23rd copy of Sonic 1, though? <laughs> yeah, of yeah, that, yeah. Of that, do, well, Johnny, to be fair, of that version, of the yes, of the you're good, right. Of, I'd buy I'd 23 totally more buy of that version itself. You're right. Hell yes. <laughs> Sonic fans, Johnny, it's it's a weird reason this this terrible franchise keeps going. We keep buying <laughs> I know it. We are part copies of the, of the same terrible games. <laughs> it's, it's very self-destructive behavior. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I guess the only other thing to uh, to note is. Um, as far as bosses are concerned, is that we saw a bit of Heavy Gunner's boss fight, uh, where he has all those egg robos running around him. It seems to be a uh, running boss fight rather than something more stationary, and we don't actually see the fight itself, but it, it really, it's really dynamic is what it really stuck out to me. It's just like uh, egg robos go, uh, going back and forth, tossing him his weaponry as you're going forward and riding along this crazy egg mobile. It's like, Okay, yeah, this actually gets me pumped for this boss fight. I have no idea what he's going to do, but I- I'm all for it. Well, anything, uh, hopefully, it has better design than, you know, previous times they've done that. Because, you know, they've they tried to do something with that with, like, uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, Mushroom Hills. And, mm-hmm. I mean, the end boss, you chasing down the Eggmobile and jump over spikes. So I'm, I'm hoping they find some way to make it a little more unique besides just, like, running and jumping at the, at, at the right time and then hit him when he's opening. I, I think that's been done, and Sonic Advance 2 is all about that. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. So, um... In that regard, I'm hoping that's not like a trend of the entire game, but I'm also just like just extremely interested in what possibilities they can achieve with the technology they have. It's something they couldn't do on the Genesis that they could easily do with today's uh, technology. Mm-hmm. I'm super confident that the bosses will be fun though, because I really liked what I saw of the Green Hill boss, that little ball and chain thing that uh, changed weaknesses. You know, right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I, I think this game's probably going to have some pretty interesting, pretty fun boss fights, and I hope they don't, like, overstay their welcome. I hope they're just, like, jump into eight 
jump into it eight times and kill it, just like the older games. But right. uh, I have a feeling that's going to be the case because when in this latest trailer, they mean both times they were fighting these bosses. I think only two and a half minutes have maybe passed since the level began. So unless you know they die or something like these levels. You sort of fit the old uh, design aesthetic where you can rush through them very quickly or you can take some time to explore and find some secrets and uh, they really seem to be following that model and I have a feeling the bosses will fo uh, follow that uh, same idea that the original games had. I, I, I hope so because the one the, the one I, th I don't want to say negative but, but the the, uh, the one thing that Taxman has done that I uh, disliked I would say to an extent was the original boss he put in for Hidden Palace Zone on Sonic 2? Because mm -hmm. this is just me—I had no idea what the hell I was supposed to do with that. That was the, the, my problem with that though is it didn't it didn't play at all like any of the any of the other Sonic 2 right. bosses. So I'm 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 a, see I'm of two minds whether I want each boss to kind of represent the game it came from, or if I want all the bosses in the game to kind of have a kind of more of a thematic theme. Um, if if all the bosses play in a kind of obtuse way like the missed that the um, hidden palace zone boss did it would be fine i just hope there aren't say like half of them are kind of your standard oh eggman just has like a like a sword on his ship and you hit it eight times and then others are like you have to wait for this perfectly timed musical instrument to play that i, I still can't do it damn it tax man <laughs> <laughs> well i wouldn't be surprised if like every first act boss was based off of the act two boss in the game they represented it because the act one boss of green hill zone was the ball and chain well, a remix. Oh of yeah, yeah, yeah. From Act pretty 2. much. And um, in what looks to be the mini, the, the the Act One boss in Flying Battery, seems to be the laser, the um, Eggman's most idiotic design, <laughs> probably in the history of the franchise. <laughs> uh, just looks to now be in a trash compactor. It's 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 very similar when you think about it. Like every time you fire the laser, the walls will come closer, and it's, that seems to be the same deal here. Um, so maybe the Act One bosses will be the nostalgia trip, and Act Two will just throw us completely for a loop. And just to go back to uh, what you guys were saying earlier, I'm hoping to God none of them last long. It's like, like I'm hoping you can hit them as many times as you can when <laughs> when it's called for, because I don't want oh he's open for like five seconds and three minutes of attacks later, another <laughs> attack there. All right. Yeah, you don't want like Sonic Rush you where you're always waiting for him to do Sonic stuff. Sonic Rush, Sonic Four Episode Two. It's yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't want that. Please no. <laughs> I, I can't wait to see Eggman's sprite. <laughs> oh, yeah, I really want to yeah. see what he looks like in Mania. Yeah, I love that new artwork of him, him with all the chaos emeralds. I mean, it's pretty classic, all things considered, but it's still just, it's fun to see him like that again. I, I like that one person who saw the, the photo of Eggman's uh, holding the chaos emeralds, he saw them juggling them, mm -hmm. and like, the last emerald on the very right looks exactly like the emeralds did in Sonic 1 and 2, where they didn't have like the diamond shape, they were just like, uh, in, the, right. in the small shape, mm -hmm. and it was... And they were like, oh, we must have been seeing the emeralds from the top the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There makes sense. Yeah. Uh, now, will he have the yellow cape or not? I That's what think, I want to know. Of course. I think he does. I'm <laughs> pretty sure he does. Because have you, have you not actually seen his uh, the picture with the showing his new, that shows his new design, Johnny? Uh, I th Maybe? I'm not sure. If I, if I can't think of him immediately, then I probably have not. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, he has his, I'm pretty sure he has his cape. I love that because I always like uh, like in my own little separate head canon and when I was like a, a like an eight year old kid. Uh, okay, let's face it, I still have it nowadays. <laughs> uh, like I was like uh, Eggman took one of the, the feathers from like Mario World and just never let go of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mario. He's just old yeah. and bold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my God, Derek! <laughs> I've cracked the code. But, but that's just a theory. <laughs> <laughs> theory. <laughs> Uh, well, we pretty much covered the trailer, except for the point of the trailer, which is the release date is August 15th. And, well, how do you guys feel about that date? Is it... Uh, do you think oh, it's yeah. perfect, or...? Two days after the charity event we have <laughs> planned after that game! <laughs> what the hell, Sega? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm just glad I'm going to have something to play during the summer, because, uh, you know, I usually take breaks from YouTube during the summer, and... Mm. Uh, 
when Sonic Mania comes out, I'm just going to be playing that, playing that, playing that, and I can't <laughs> wait, because it's, it's only a few months away. It's oh. really nice, because I can use the beginning of, like, summer, like, the end of June and July to play Crash Bandicoot and Saiyan Trilogy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and, yes. And then by the beginning of August, like, oh, I think I'm tired out, and Sonic Mania is like, here, hold my beer. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> come like, yeah, come into it, my embracing arms. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I missed you so much, you son of a bitch. <laughs> 2017 is too good for gaming. I love it's 2017. Yeah, yeah, it's like, been you know, a yeah, it is. It's yeah. You're right. Emphasis on too good. We mm. need to balance out this karma. <laughs> Here, oh, Johnny, my... Johnny, that's what Sonic Forces is for. <laughs> oh, oh, I was hoping we wouldn't go there, but we probably do. We no, 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 no. I'm joking. But one, one serious thing though, because originally that this was slated for spring. Mm-hmm. My my thing is, and I I, I tweeted about this while watching this trailer because this this more so than the first one, this one it really hit me in the kind of in my nostalgia feels. I almost kind of wish that um, that forces wasn't coming out until next year and it hadn't been revealed yet. Hmm. No, I actually think it helps that we have both bases being covered around the same time because look, I know plenty of people who are so giddy for Mania, but they don't give a crap about forces. And vice versa. You know, it mainly depends on what era you grew up with. Mostly modern fans are looking forward more forward to forces than they are of Sonic Mania because they think, oh it's just another two D Sonic. Um, and that's just generally how the way it goes. So to me, I think it's perfect that we have both crowds being satisfied at around the same time. Hmm. That's the th- that's the thing, though, because again, uh, when, when this was originally slated for spring, do you think they're gonna be released too close to each other? Because I, if if we assume that forces based on previous main series games will either be released either uh, towards the end of October or early November. Do you think that because Mania is now releasing in August, they are releasing too close to each other? No, I, don't I don't think so, I, because I don't, I don't think Mania is going to be that long of a game. This is something that's going to be, like, let's be honest, most of us are going to have this game beat by the end of that day. And then we'll just be <laughs> playing it over and over and over again. Let's that's try his tail, do. let's try his knuckles, let's actually get all the Chaos Emeralds, let's right. find all the secrets, that sort of thing. It's, it's definitely something that's probably going to be a little bit shorter, but high on replay value. Yeah, if it's anything like Mega Man 9 and 10 for me, we're like, Mega Man 9 and 10, the day I got him, I beat him, like, <laughs> that day. But then I just played it over and over again for freaking months, so... I'm, I'm expecting the game not to be uh, any longer than Sonic 3 and Knuckles combined. So it's got length on its side. Also, the fact that it's not full retail price. I think it's like 20 bucks. Yeah. Um, so that, yeah, that's so. one thing, because I'm pretty sure 4 is just going to be sold at 4. I remember when probably. Sonic 4 came out, episode 1, and it was 15 bucks, and everyone was like, oh, that price is too high. <laughs> 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 um, so price is the thing, length is the thing. I don't think it's a good, I don't think there's really going to be any real trouble with both games being released relatively around the same time. Mm. Um, so, uh, I'm, well, I mean, we're getting them both anyway, aren't we? Oh, yeah, yep. of course. So... I hate this franchise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in my heart of hearts, I still expect forces to get delayed because I don't know. I just oh, really? that's my gut reaction with gaming now. It's like it's going to be delayed. There's going to be some problems. I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, Sega, uh, Sega have started to get good with that. You know, because you know, Fire and Ice was delayed by over a, like a year. Uh, Mania has been re- delayed by. At least from spring to summer, so uh, three to four months for the extra polish. I I, I truthfully hope that if, if Forces does need it, I hope uh, you know Sega have built up some goodwill at this point. They'll push it back because I think because Mania is going to come out this year, and I, I think I think it would probably be a safe bet to assume of the two, just based on how we know uh, you know gaming journalism is. Um, I think I have to say that Mania will probably be the critically uh, more reviewed game. Mm. of the two of them I think if Forces is pushed back to next year in fact the Mania is out, is out this year won't hurt the brand or like won't have anyone complaining about you know why is Forces out this year because you can just play Sonic without an OC in, in Mania I it's also the timing for Forces is is really up in the air just because well, we also have new Mario coming out and I'm not sure like Mario Adventure 3 I can't wait <laughs> yeah there we go <laughs> I, I, suck at Facebook <laughs> I, I'm not sure I I'm sure Sonic will still do, still do well, but I, I have a feeling Odyssey, Odyssey is a bigger deal. Oh, totally. I mean, I mean, I, I, I bef- you know, Sonic is is my is my uh, franchise is my is my character, but put a gun to my head, and I'm not sure why anyone would do this over a bunch of video games. But put a gun <laughs> to my head and be like Forces or Odyssey. I'm Od- Odyssey all the way, man. Odyssey all the way. That game looks fantastic. 
I mean, that's why a delay I don't think would be a terrible thing. Put it back and put it into early. But again, Christmas gifts, kids, I can totally see it going for November as well. And probably do, still doing as well, if only because, well, Sonic OC. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, it sounds really close to Sonic 06 when you put it that way. Can we, the, can we, just, can we just call it Sonic Force? Sonic, <laughs> Sonic OC. Oh my god. What have they done? What have they done? Sonic California, <laughs> here we come. Right back where we started from. We need a Crush Footy cover of that song. <laughs> Put in the request of TMG. Chris Woody has to reenact one of the key season finales with Oom, what you say? <laughs> <laughs> Crush Fultz is going to be at too many games. Johnny, let's go ask him. We should go, go ask him. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, just a quick five second I will, I will, I will Facebook Pam Izuka this one then. Well, it's okay, boys. I got it. I'll get it done. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I, there, I really don't have much to say. I mean, let's be honest. We all came in here with we pretty much... A lot. A, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we said a lot. Yeah, we have said a lot. We came in here with pretty much the same opinion where this trailer looks great. We can't wait to play it. Mm -hmm. Give it to us now, Sega. You know, yeah. that's... Although, you know, one, one, one last thing I'd like to say, you know, I'm sure based on from what, all, everything we've heard of it, T-Lope's -T score is going to be absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. But I am, I am loving these Hyper Potion trailer tracks. Oh, yeah. I, I actually want to say that, like, you know, T Loves has done great work. If there is a Mania 2 or just a, a Sonic game down the line, I would absolutely be up for a, a Hyper Potion soundtrack for Sonic. Oh, for game. sure. Yeah. Get it Hyper Potions in the actual games. It sounds, I mean, yes, they, the, the, the live set they did for the the uh, meeting last year wasn't wasn't the best thing, but these these trailer tracks are so sexy. I would, I, I, I could, I, I could actually see myself. Just you know, like uh, buying the buying the especially the trailer track for uh, the uh, pre-order trailer, um, oh. just playing that while playing Mania because like you know we've all heard Green Hill a thousand times at this point. <laughs> well, that yeah. is available, uh, Gareth. And, uh, if you go to the Hyper Potions YouTube channel, they have it. And they can I think you can download it for free. Nice. I think the only thing is the um, the Hyper Potions track for the first trailer, I believe, is was two different tracks put together. Ah, oh, okay. It's not just one, but uh, even that because I was I was actually listening to both earlier today and. Damn, that's some sexy stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. It added to the feels. Like, even when you pair up the Hyper Potion music with this animation of Sonic just doing his cute little stuff, I was just I like... The, oh, bit where, the bit where he walks into childhood. The, the bit where he walks into the universe and winks at Tails and gives him a high five. I'm like, <laughs> oh, that, there's the Sonic for my childhood. <laughs> you know what's funny? I saw, saw, saw a comment online where someone was like, finally, Sonic won't be a jerk like he is today. It's like, did you... Did you Read Sonic back in the day. He's always been a massive <laughs> jerk. <laughs> like, have you have you ever read Sonic the comic? He fakes his death multiple times just to joke with joke around <laughs> tails. Listen, look, you I know, know Alex. Look, listen, I always know when he had that ass brow, and you can't spell ass brow without ass because that's what he is. <laughs> <an ass. laughs> in Sonic CD, he abandoned the player after three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's got other things to do. Okay, <laughs> if you won't take this serious thing, then neither will I. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that comes back. I hope that comes back. <laughs> the, like, the, uh, wait three minutes and then he goes away. Yeah. Oh, wait four seconds that. and he jumps <laughs> off. That would be the that would be the ultimate trophy. Put your controller down or press nothing for four seconds and game's over. <laughs> they did a similar thing in Knuckles Chaotix as well. I know if you waited a long time, I think, I think it's Metal Sonic seconds. comes in to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think, I think I think after 90 seconds, Metal Sonic comes in and like shoots you. I don't think he flat out kills you. I think he just attacks you to make you move. Mm. Yeah, but if you have no rings, you'll die. But if you had no rings, yeah, you'd die. But that game, we don't talk about Knuckles. <laughs> notice, notice how there's also no Knuckles chaotic level, a thing I'm also very thankful for, because that game is trash. <laughs> well, we don't know yet. Maybe have. in the final product. Could I have. can't see, I can't, if, if, if Izuku won't let Taxman remake Knuckles Chaotix, I can't see him letting him put a level in Mania. <laughs> <laughs> you say that, then we'll play it, and then Door into Summer starts playing, and it's like, ah! Uh, oh my god, the T Lobs Donald the Summer remix from his YouTube channel from five years ago. Oh, Clement, you're giving me the feels again. Giving me, I'm getting the vapors, boys. Knuckles Chaotix is actually a bad game. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> it, is, it, is, it is complete trash. It's not a good game. Don't play it. Please don't play it. I've never played it. It's boring as hell. <laughs> it didn't look, it it didn't look exciting, no. <laughs> it's, it's like, I, I never thought I'd say this, it's like a crappier CD. I didn't think that was possible, but that's what it plays oh like. Gosh. Yeah, I mean, I like I said, I cannot wait to play Mania. It won't be too much longer. 
Hopefully I'll finally get to play it myself uh, at E3. I really think that the Sega should at least give us a, a freaking demo. Like, if they release a demo of this mm. game, please, just give us a chance to play it endlessly. Right? <laughs> they, they've done that with all the other Sonic games, you know, always gave you, like, Green Hill for, like, uh, Sonic Generations, Apatos for Sonic Unleashed, uh, Lost World had, you know, the first level demo. Mm. I need some Green Hill Mania demo, Sonic, <laughs> their Sega. Uh, <laughs> Sonic 1, available now on iOS and Android. Oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> How much Green Hill do you want? All of it. All of it. <laughs> fill it with sand, terrible. fill it with snow, fill it with whatever element you can think of. No. <laughs> Still Green Hill. No, I don't want to play Walk Forward Sand Hill Zone from Forces. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I think that covers it for our Sonic Media discussion. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank, so thank you we for... We hate this franchise, but please buy this game. <laughs> <laughs> but if I keep talking crap about it, I get all the views. <laughs> <laughs> but it treats you so That's well. how YouTube works, Johnny. <laughs> Sonic 06 is a bad game. I'll take my money now, please. Thank you. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And if you like this video, be sure to like us on Facebook and Twitter at Game Explain. And Johnny, where can they find you at? As always, you can find me at youtube.com slash Johnny. I'm taking a bit of a break right now, but I'm getting ready to prepare for my long-awaited, long-dreaded Kingdom Hearts marathon. Uh, looking at the entire series, including the mobile games, and I hope you look forward to me slowly losing my mind. Thank you for tuning in. Especially with the mobile games. Good luck, because I couldn't even Shut get through that. <laughs> Thank you for the reassuring words. <laughs> what about you, Gareth? Uh, you can find me laughing at Johnny playing the Kingdom Hearts games. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm at, I'm at uh, uh, YouTube.com slash uh, Find the Computer Room, and I'm on Twitter at, at the real FTA. Mm -hmm. Definitely check out their uh, Sonic 06 pl uh, Let's Play, because holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> that was... We will, we will never outshine that so we're going to close the channel down we've peaked <laughs> yeah. it only, only took 12 years but we peaked <laughs> and what about you Clement I have a YouTube channel uh, Clement J64 I just mostly do let's plays but right now I'm in the middle of a Final Fantasy retrospective I've done the first five games so far and I'm going to be doing number six and I'm doing one a month so if you like Final Fantasy check that out cool and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more on Sonic and other things gaming as well until next time bye